Get ready to dive into the future of naval warfare as we explore the feasibility of kamikaze drone boats in the modern era. Kamikaze drone boats are like small, remote-controlled or computer-guided ships without any people on board. They're loaded with explosives and meant to crash into targets and explode. So they're also called suicide drone boats. These boats have been around for a while, but they are becoming more powerful thanks to better technology, especially for fighting against other ships. In World War I, the Germans used remote-controlled suicide boats in the English Channel and along the northern European coast. They had one called the Furlink Boot, or FL Boot, which was 17 meters long and carried 700 kilograms of explosives. It was controlled from land using a long wire that was 20 kilometers long. These boats didn't have sensors to see where they were going, so they had to rely on airplanes to tell them where to go. But this system was not very reliable, and it didn't work well. Only a few of these boats were used in combat, and one of the notable incidents was in October 1917, when one damaged a British ship called HNS Erebus. During World War II, the Germans had a similar idea called Linsen. These were fast boats packed with explosives and operated by just one person. They used these boats in pairs, with one boat controlling the other. The operator would steer the boat close to the target and then jump out. The control boat would then guide the suicide boat using a radio link. They tried using suicide boats in different ways during World War II, but they didn't achieve any significant success. In more recent times, there have been improvements in suicide drone boats thanks to better guidance technology. Instead of relying on old-fashioned navigation methods that require a direct line of sight, modern guidance systems can target things beyond the horizon without seeing them directly. This means that ideas from the past, which didn't work well due to technology limits, can now be used in a smarter way. After World War II, there have been a few instances where unmanned suicide boats were used in combat. For instance, during the Iran-Iraq War from 1980 to 1988, the Iranian Navy used explosive-loaded unmanned boats to attack Iraqi naval and commercial ships in the Persian Gulf. In 2016, Yemeni Houthi rebels reportedly used a remote-controlled suicide boat to successfully attack the Royal Saudi frigate al Medina in the Southern Red Sea. In the conflict between Russia and Ukraine in the Black Sea, suicide unmanned surface vessels USVs, have been used on a larger scale. On October 29, 2022, Ukraine's explosive USVs and drones launched a coordinated attack on the Russian Black Sea Fleet based in Sevastopol. Although most of the boats were stopped, at least two Russian warships, including the flagship frigate Admiral Makarov and the minesweeper Ivan Golubets, were damaged. On June 11, 2023, six suicide USVs tried to attack the Russian Navy intelligence ship Prizovy, but they were stopped by the ship's defensive gunfire. It's also believed that a suicide drone boat was responsible for an attack on the Crimean Bridge, which disrupted Russian supply routes in Crimea. These kamikaze USVs have become an effective way to disrupt Russia's ability to navigate freely in the Black Sea. In short, suicide drone boats can perform various operations against enemy surface vessels. There are two main ways to use these kamikaze USVs. First, they can be launched from the shore to attack enemy ships. These shore-launched boats have a limited range, but can be very effective in narrow areas. When used in groups, they can overwhelm the enemy's defenses and control territorial waters. This tactic can make it difficult for the enemy, especially amphibious forces, to move safely. Second, these suicide boats can be carried, launched, controlled, and even brought back by a mothership. These boats are hard to detect on radar and don't give off much heat, making them suitable for risky situations where sending in manned ships is dangerous. In this role, they can target enemy ships at sea and try to breach harbor defenses. They may not be very effective against powerful warships, but they can threaten supply and support vessels. Suicide drone boats, while offering unique advantages in naval warfare, come with significant limitations.
they are susceptible to both kinetic and non-kinetic countermeasures, making them vulnerable to ship-based defenses and aviation assets once detected. Their command and control systems are also prone to electronic warfare, which can disrupt their sensors and communication, rendering them ineffective in certain scenarios. Moreover, these boats can be easily manufactured on a large scale, posing a potential threat to commercial shipping lanes and sea lines of communication. Abandoned kamikaze drone boats can also become hazards akin to floating mines. However, despite these limitations, the future of suicide drone boats in naval warfare remains intriguing. Advancements in technology, military tactics, and strategic postures will shape their role. The integration of high-degree autonomy can enhance their flexibility, reduce their dependence on communication links, and improve their effectiveness in complex combat situations. These boats could be employed in swarms alongside other manned-unmanned systems to confuse and overwhelm enemy defenses, making them particularly appealing to smaller navies focused on sea denial strategies. As technology continues to evolve, the next generations of autonomous kamikaze boats have the potential to redefine surface warfare. Thanks for watching this exciting exploration of Boat Drone. If you found this video informative and intriguing, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more fascinating content on the latest in technology and innovation. Stay tuned for more updates, and we'll catch you in the next video.